Dislight players are very upset right now because they have been dislied to. Okay, you know what? I I know where the door is. I'll I'll see myself out. Okay, you know what? In all seriousness, this is actually horrible. You know what isn't horrible though? All of our incredible patrons over on Patreon. You guys are literally the most incredible people on the planet, hands down. And I cannot thank you guys enough for considering me worthy of your patron status. Also, if you have a minute, consider following Mrs. Six and I over on Twitter. So here we have two different threads, both about the exact same thing. According to the thread, about a month ago, the devs behind Dislight released a video apologizing and letting their community know that they were listening to them. This, this is something that a lot of companies do. Very few of them actually follow through with this, and even fewer of them actually successfully prove that they do in fact care and they do in fact listen. Then, little by little, they released parts of the most recent update or bits of information concerning the most recent update before the patch notes went live and essentially killed any hype, any future potential that this game would have had and burned any bridges that they had with players because of their blatant lies. As you can see down at the very bottom, they purposefully hid the changes that are included in this summary up until the patch notes release because they knew how bad these alterations to the core game were and admittedly i am not a fan of dislike i have never played the game it just didn't look like the kind of game that i was interested in i've covered a multitude of things that dislike has done wrong over the period of time since it launched and let me tell you it has done a ton of things wrong but none worse than this. This right here is the nail in the coffin for the game. Or at least that's what social media would lead us to believe. They go on to elaborate, why didn't they announce the stamina changes, the item removal, the booster removal, up until the final part? It looks like there have been some drastic increases in terms of stamina costs. It looks like they removed a bunch of items from the store. Boosters are gone, meaning it is more expensive and less rewarding with no means to boost like before. The relic rework is a complete and utter nerf. I mean, for those of you that are actively playing the game, like you'll know whether this is good or bad. But let's go ahead and see what the community thinks. People still play Dislight? I mean, if you're still playing Dislight after all this time, I assume you like the punishment. They made people dislike the game too much with this update. I like this guy. I guess they realized anyone still playing is in too deep to quit now. That is actually <laughs> completely and utterly true. There are whales that just spend so much money in gacha games that regardless of what happens, they are just too deep into the game with too much invested into it to just quit. I understand that. I know some people that have spent thousands of dollars on Nikkei. I know people that spent thousands of dollars on Tower of Fantasy and just can't not play it. Like they hate Tower of Fantasy, but they've invested like $8,000 into the game and they just, they, they can't bring themselves to part with all of that money. So they forced themselves to attempt to find any semblance of enjoyment out of it. This game is dead. I'm so glad I dropped the game when it went global. Damn, that's making Nikkei sound like a gift from the gods. Honestly, this patch could have been their chance to do something nice for the community. They did listen to players and made some good changes in the new patch, but to balance out the good stuff, they just had to ruin it by making some stuff worse. But you honestly can't expect a greedy dev to suddenly switch, I guess. <laughs> Where are the pros? Are there only cons? People actually still play and defend this game. I guess some people like being repeated. Dude, that is the, it's like, <laughs> it's like people that, uh, that still go on to state that Tower of Fantasy is of comparable quality to Genshin Impact. It's like Tower of Fantasy is a perfectly fine quality game. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. The studio behind Tower of Fantasy is bad, but the Tower of Fantasy game is not bad, but it is not the same tier as Genshin Impact, even though Genshin Impact isn't, you know, like a, a bastion of quality, but people just like to defend what they like despite us having a difference of opinion. 
Now, Dislite is, you know, kind of dead. Looking at its downloads, looking at its earnings, 130,000 downloads, roughly $1.5 million in earnings. That is very, very low. People consider Tower of Fantasy to be a dead game and it's making like six to $9 million a month. Blue Archive, Ark Knight, Punishing Grey Raven, Honkai, like 30 other gacha games I can name off the top of my head are all making upwards of five to $30 million a month. Dislike 1.5, yeah. This game is kinda dead. And this is just gonna further drive the game into the ground. But you know what, if Dislike isn't your kind of game, then no problem. I got you covered right now with two different videos on screen. One featuring a brand new gacha game I think you ought to check out. Seriously, it looks really good. The other featuring a list of what I believe are the best gacha games available right now. These games are essentially the pinnacle of what the gacha genre can offer us.